I'm from the South, I moved to California a couple years ago, and I like living in California, but I gotta say, I miss how trashy you're allowed to be in the South of the United States, okay? I'm allowed to be my dirty ass self. The last time that I went back home, I was not back in Tennessee for 12 hours before I heard a woman cough until she puked in, <laughs> in the bathroom of a Waffle House. And <laughs> I was just like, baby, I'm home. You know, I made it, they're playing my song in there. Uh, I should say that that woman was me. 100% uh, me had a good Thursday night, all right? You can do whatever you want in a Waffle House bathroom. You can sleep in there. A lot of people don't know that. Hot tip if you ever go down south. I love being from the south. I, uh, I, it, it really is the most fantastic place in the world, but I do like that everyone is hot as hell in California because I've discovered that my favorite feeling in the entire world is being complimented by hot women. It's all I've ever wanted. I want a lady with like tattoos and a backpack to tell me she likes my shirt. It's my whole fucking goal in life. In Tennessee, it's never her. It's always like the lady that works the front desk at my dentist's office, you know? She's just like, oh my God, I love your bag. I'm like, now I gotta throw this fucking bag away. Jesus Christ. Please don't like my bag. You have frosted tips. Take it back, Cheryl, you know? I miss that I'm allowed to smoke cigarettes down there. I can smoke freely. I was, I've been smoking since I was a baby, I think. Just born with a Virginia Slim hanging out of my mouth. Total piece of shit. Uh, I've tried so many ways to quit smoking over the years. One of the things I've never tried is the stop smoking pill. You guys heard of it? It's called Chantix. Makes you clinically insane. <laughs> Three of the actual side effects of Chantix are hallucinations, delusions, and night terrors. <laughs> they put it on the box. I feel like that's a pretty high price to pay, you know? You're just like, Laura, I heard you kick the habit. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> well, I heard that that broom over there and the vice principal of Zimbabwe are trying to murder my favorite member of the A-team. So, it's kind of like who could smoke at a time like this? You know what I mean? <laughs> Chantix, you can't smoke if you're hiding from demons in your neighbor's crawl space. <laughs> Thank you, Chantix. You saved my life. <laughs> Started my working life there, had my first job ever in Nashville at a water park called Nashville Shores when I was 15 years old. Don't know if you've heard of it. It's the home of Water, Sun, and Family Fun. Um, <laughs> if you haven't been, please don't go. It's all piss, okay? They're all, never go to any water park. All pee, sometimes poop, if I'm being honest. Uh, I enjoyed my time there, but I did learn a lot of very important lessons from working at a water park, and I do wanna share some of them with you now. Number one, there is no right or wrong response to being called a bitch by a man who is both soaking wet and eating a corn dog, okay? That's, <laughs> that's not even a real person. You can say whatever you want to that guy, gloves are off. He's a cartoon character. Number two, if you're ever checking bags at a water park and you find an enormous bag of weed, you just get to have it, babe, that's just yours, okay? They were like, take it. There was no step two, it was the highest summer of my life. My eyes were smaller than they are right now, if you can imagine. Huge boobs, tiny eyes, nice to meet you guys. Okay, number three. <laughs> Let's get it out of the way, you know what I mean? Number three, and maybe most importantly, if you think that a really mean guy might be a little bit too fat to fit into an enclosed water slide, it is cool if you just let him figure that out on his own, okay? <laughs> Do not call him out. He will call you a bitch while he eats a corn dog. He does it every single time, all right? Terry's not messing around on the slides. He's big and he's wet and he's mean. He came to fight. I love going home and talking to my friends down there. I have some of the dumbest friends in the world. Uh, <laughs> I was having a conversation with one of my guy friends the last time I was home, and he said to me what I have to believe is the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. He goes, Laura, I'm so jealous that women get to look so beautiful when they orgasm. <laughs> I was like, my guy. Um, those ladies are not, they're not coming. Um, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. They're simply not. I look insane when I have an orgasm. I look like your dad trying to start a very old lawnmower, you know? <laughs> so it's a really, ah, gah, 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 gah. let's get some friction on it, you know? I look like one of those videos of a really jacked lady trying to squash a watermelon between her thighs. Have you seen those? Just really intense concentration. There's one bead of like anime sweat coming down my forehead. Oh, and then just Gallagher, you know what I mean? Watch out, front row. They're in the splash zone. They knew what was going on. Okay. 
I do need to talk to the women in the room for just one second, okay? And ladies, I know we're back out in the world, everybody's happy, we're back, you know, we're back doing things, but I need to talk to the ladies, and we have to agree that in the year of our Lord 2022, there is too much pee on our public toilet seats. Can we agree with that? A little enthusiasm, maybe. It's gross, okay? And guys, I know it's worse for you. I know it's like a war zone in there. I don't even think they have toilets. I think it's just like a room with a drain in the middle, like a prison shower. <laughs> Real Shawshank situation for my fellas. They're just waffle stomping it down. Okay, but gals, it's getting pretty bad. I think what we need to do this year, we need to stick together. We need to sit it fully down every single time, okay? I wanna feel your ass warmth on my ass when I go in after you. Instead, what do we got out here? We got these fucking hoverers, yeah? These athletes just... <laughs> using their giant quads to <laughs> levitate over the toilet seat like some sort of fucking piss witch, just <laughs> casting little pee-pee spells for us lazy girls to clean up, all right? Some of us don't have the core strength, okay? Some of us are pretty drunk every day, okay? Have you considered that? Mama needs to sit. All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great time.